So for today's um, 30 minute practice, I was hoping that we could explore some longer holds and really allow ourselves this opportunity to feel our body fully experience kind of what it's like to stay in a pose longer than a breath or two. So if you get tired, obviously take a break, uh, but the goal today is for you to utilize the big muscles in the body to build endurance as you do this and to learn something new. So let's go ahead and get started in a standing forward fold. That's gonna be our first pose that's a little bit longer to hold. And that's where you'll kind of start to notice the changes in your body while you're there. So come on up for me. Widen your feet. And then I want you to go ahead and this opportunity here is where you can hold opposite elbows. You can put your hands on the ground. You can hold your legs, okay? So you can also work through a series of those movements. And I'm just gonna start with my fingertips kind of draped towards the ground, my head hanging. And I encourage you, if it's really hard for you to touch the ground, let those knees bend. Good, otherwise elevate the tailbone. So in a long forward fold, you guys should feel your hamstrings, the back of the legs, the heels, the toes, the feet. You should feel the blood flow freshly through the body here as you feel the head hang. And remember, you can shift where you have your weight. So you can put a little weight in the heels, lift the toes, you can bring more weight in the toes. And then there's this tingly sensation that starts in the bottoms of the feet. There's a pull that starts in the back of the legs where you're like, oh, I've been here for a while. And then there's that kind of head rush of maybe congestion, stress coming in the top of your head. And just see if you can feel like it's just releasing. Let's try five more breaths. If you're miserable, you're welcome to kind of come here. So I'm resting forearms to legs. If you're okay in this forward fold, I encourage you to take opposite elbows for your last five breaths. You can sway side to side, you can stay still. I encourage you to breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, inhale. Exhale. Three more breaths. Again, feel your effort. I start to feel that tingle now in the bottom of my right foot, which is the side of my body that has more issues than my left, so it makes sense. And now if you're holding your body, your arms, release that. Good, bring your feet together. And then slowly roll to stand. Good. Palms roll forward, heart forward, stand tall, stand proud, pause here. So I can feel I'm a little congested just from allergies, that idea of coming back up from being folding forward and feeling congested, feeling like, you know, I'm all full up here, but I feel more relaxed through my lower body. Please engage your stomach. Close your eyes as you stand tall, palms face forward, shoulder blades hug in. Good, long holds. We build patience. We build the foundation of our breath. So I want you to start to inhale through the nose and then exhale out the same way without looking for the need of movement. Inhaling in and exhaling out. Inhale in and exhale out. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Take a big breath. Good. Lift your heart. Lean back. Three. See if you can lift your chest. Two. And then on your exhale, soft knees, bow forward. Finish the breath. Halfway lift your spine into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Good, right foot's in between your hands. Step your left foot back for me. So you're in a lunge. 
pause. Reach your arms up to the sky. High crescent lunge. Hold here and breathe. Notice as your right knee bends forward, this pull through the left leg becomes more extreme. Engage your arms, reach. See if you can see the sky. Maybe the palms are open, maybe they're touching. It's up to you. Take another breath. Good. Exhale, come forward. Put your hands down. Exhale, step to down dog. Hold. Try not to move side to side. Try to be still. Try to feel your body just staying right here in this place. Tailbone lifted, heart to thighs. Good. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Long gaze forward, come high on the balls of your feet, bend your knees, and now re-lengthen your tail, walk slowly forward. Take your time. Exhale, forward fold. Good, reach and rise, stand tall, arms up. Second time in a back bend, spend some time, breathe in. Good, breathe out, hold, breathe in. Breathe out, hold, get longer. One more breath and then exhale, bow forward, let it go. Nice, halfway lift the spine. Exhale, fold. And now the right leg will glide back. You'll bend the left knee, you'll pause. And now firm your legs, guys, try not to move a lot. Just take the upper body straight up. Stack your head on top of your hips. Keep your spine long, reach to the sky. Maybe palms touch or they separate. Bend your left knee forward. Find the fire in your legs. Good. Reaching, opening, stretching, finding more for yourself right here. Three, this is where it gets hard. This is where the legs start to fatigue. Two. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step right back, down dog, good. Exhale, high plank. Hold. So feel yourself press away from the ground, not thinking about movement, but thinking about how can I make this pose better? How can I be stronger? Exhale, chaturanga, hold. Back bend, hold, good, reach forward. Downward facing dog. Let's raise our right leg up, soften your left knee a little bit. Reaching your right leg to the sky, creating space in your leg, stretching and opening. Exhale, knee to nose, stay there. Three, keep your shoulders stacked. Two, on one, look between your hands. This is a hard movement. Step forward. Turn your back heel down. Warrior two, land. So look forward over your right arm for me. Strong through your legs and your core. Hold. Feel your stomach muscles engage to hold you here. Keep bending the right knee. Keep breathing. Keep feeling your legs rip your yoga mat apart. Find your strength. Hold, three. Two, starting to fatigue. You got this, strong through those fingers. Reverse. Stay there. Create space in your side body. Crave more movement right now but instead focus on being still. Good, take one more breath. This should feel different than one of those fast paced vinyasas. Exhale, forearm to thigh. Stack your shoulders, here's your side angle. Good, look up. Nice work guys, breathe. 
trust me, this isn't easy for me either. So this definitely is a challenge. But what it does is it forces you to notice where are you starting to fatigue? What part of the body is weak? What is sore? Good. Reverse your warrior one more time with a straight leg. Reach up and back. Hold, push through your front foot. Try not to put any weight on your back knee. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the earth and we'll place the left knee down. We'll place the right hand on the right leg. We'll raise the left arm up. Breathe. So this is a pose that's full of sensation. So there should be so much going on for this left hip flexor, left side body, that staying in this pose gives you more opportunity to experience a deeper stretch. Take another breath. Exhale, release your left hand to the ground. Pick up your back kneecap so that you press through your back heel. Squeeze your butt and inner thighs. Raise your right arm up, stack your shoulders. Look up to your top thumb as you roll open. So as you do this, I want you guys to feel your spine move completely to the left and your gaze move completely up to your right hand. Squeeze your inner thighs, press through your back heel, bend your front right knee, hold three. Try not to let go of this pose. Two, feel the body start to shake. Lower the right hand, nice. Step right back, down dog, breathe out. Inhale, plank, hold, shoulders on top of wrists. You are strong. You feel good, your body is working. Chaturanga, hold, three, two, Transition, please. Up dog or cobra. Bring your heart forward and through. Feel your chest shine. Exhale, press up and back. Downward facing dog. Soft knees. And now you have a little extra time in down dog just to hold. So feel the heels reach down. Feel the heart reach back. Breathe in, breathe out. Raise your left leg up. Make sure there's even weight in both of your hands as you reach your left leg to the sky, please. And as you press your chest back to your standing leg, let your gaze move back to your right foot. Hold here, three, two, exhale, Softly step your left foot, or excuse me, bring your knee to your chest. Hang on, hold three, two, and now you got this. Step your left foot forward. Good, push through your back heel, squeeze those legs, and now firm your back heel down. Come up slowly, warrior two. Eyes are forward, head is stacked over shoulders. And then again, we stay. So I know that we want to straighten this leg. I'm aware that this pose gets hard, but I ask you right now to hold, to press through both feet, to pull your mat apart, to stay focused. Three, let your legs shake. Two, your heart rate is up. And then reverse your warrior. Keep your left knee bending, reaching as far as you can back. Feeling this whole side body open. Stay. Try not to let that left knee drop in. Keep it facing forward. Exhale. Good. Take your time there. Move into side angle. Forearm to thigh. Reach your right arm up. Lean back as you roll your chest open a little bit more. Think about creating space. Think about opening this back side of the body as you press really hard into your back foot. Three, soft in your left forearm for me, guys. Try not to lay down on it too hard. Two, 
And now when you're ready, we come to warrior two. You got this. We straighten to reverse. Good, find room, three. Push through both feet, again, all this space, two. And now bend, cartwheel, land softly on the earth. Lift your back heel and place your kneecap down. Pause right here. Untuck your back toes, put your left hand on your left thigh, right arm reaches. So again, it's a tender pose, maybe right away, too much. So you pull back and you stay here. And then you use the time we're in the pose to slowly shift forward. If you're already feeling good, you stay. You reach. You think my back bend can become more. My right arm can reach higher. Three. Two. Right hand to mat. Good, pick up your back knee, squeeze the legs, let them stay tone, and now peel your left arm straight to the sky, and then hold, freeze, and try to keep that body in one strong line, twisting, opening, feeling, doing everything you can to stay centered and focused right here. Good, firm opening, nice twist. Shaking, so I start to feel those legs, those big muscles. Yes, you can. One more breath. Release. Exhale, one, two, three. Down dog, hold. Find complete stillness as you push back. Exhale, plank pose, hold. Not lowering right away, but staying focused and strong. Now, chaturanga, hold, three, two, flip your feet for me, guys, come up. Good work, lift and shine your heart forward. And now, let's invite child's pose. So if you are holding those poses in their fullest effort, whew, your heart rate should be up, and you should feel your work. That was tough. Breathe quietly. From there, ground the forearms. Place the palms to touch, and then curl your toes, lift your hips up. So a lot of times we visit dolphin, we add some push-ups, we kick to forearm stand. But this time we stay. We have soft knees with slightly lifted heels. My head is off the ground. You're pressing through your forearms and you're reaching your tailbone up and back. You're not looking for more, no movement. Can you stay? Three. Fight the urge, two. Exhale, look forward, drop the knees. Nice job, straighten your arms for me. Inhale, cow, flip the spine, hold as you stretch your back, fan your bottom. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll the back. You've got this, stay for three, two. And then please find a neutral spine, which means the back is flat. Extend your right arm forward and your left arm behind you. Pick up the stomach, use your core. Hold, keep your left arm straight. Reach back through your left leg, use all the muscles in your body right now. You feel your shoulders, you feel your core, you feel your center, you feel your glutes. Nice, three, two, hand and knee at the same time. Side two, let's do this, reach. Find your fire. Fight through all the different sensations that you're experiencing. Reach, lift low back, firm and tone the belly. Extend the front arm, extend the right leg, guys. Get long, how are your muscles? They're fiery, they're working, they're shaking. And if you are shaking a lot, guess what? That's okay, you're getting stronger. Release, 
<laughs> good job. Downward facing dog, one more time for me. Curl those toes, exhale, push it back. Open your mouth. Walk your hands to your feet. And this will be your first forward fold that we stay in since the beginning. So your feet are a little closer than when you started, but they're not touching. Maybe you can exhale, fold in further. Notice the different sensations that are arising now that you've been here before, now that you're warmer, maybe now that you're feeling some fatigue. Stay, three. You feel good in your body, you look good, too. And slowly roll up on one. Good, notice all that heat you built so fast. Right knee to chest. Hug it in. Stand tall. Keep your knee lifted, keep your arms forward. Right here by your sides. Raise your arms up, biceps by your ears. Keep your knee lifted. Can you focus on pressing down through your left heel? Can you focus on starting to feel some shakes as you experience this balance? Hold, three. Extend the leg if you wish, two. Take one more breath, lower. Nice, hands to heart. Left knee comes to chest, ground your foot, stand up tall. Press down through the right foot, try right away, become a statue in your lower body. Rest your arms. Your palms face forward here, your chest is elevated, you're breathing. You can feel it. You're happy, you're strong. Inhale, maybe you reach, stomach tight, bottom leg, tight, trunk, tight. Are you ready? Hold, three, oh, I'm shaking. Two, release, hands to heart. Close your eyes, please be still in this moment right now. Blow out a big candle. Exhale, fold forward. Lift your spine halfway up. Hold. Option one, keep your fingertips on the ground. To make it harder, bring your hands to your heart, flat back. To make it harder, reach your arms forward, flat back, tailbone out. Reaching, chin slightly tucked, hover, quiver, shake. You've got this. Four, come on guys. Three, two, that's a long hold. Woof, let it go. Drop the knees at the back of the mat. Untuck the toes, sit on the heels, place the palms on the thighs, sit up tall. So the goal of yoga is to prepare us for longer and longer seated meditation. Not because the holds require more endurance to sit for longer, but that the mind can stay focused in one place versus travel. So when we hold a pose for a long period of time, which is the asana, which is the movement of yoga, this idea of sitting still after the movement that was held for a long period of time becomes more accessible to us. Whether it's a pose that flexibility wise required more time or whether it's just that concept of sitting quietly and with ourselves. Let's bring our hands forward, cross the ankles from behind and then slowly have a seat. Good, half lotus pose. I'll turn towards you so you guys can see it better. Option one, don't do it at all. Just cross and sit up straight. Option two, you're gonna take your foot to the crease 
And you're gonna kind of stack everything together here. So I'm placing my foot at the crease of my hip, which now my knee is stacking. And if that doesn't feel great, you can always do it on this side. Stack it like so, all right? Sit up, close your eyes if you haven't done so yet, and just experience this super long spine, exposed breath, and desire to be still. Still in the sense where you're not still and you're sleeping, but you're still and you're fully aware of what's happening around you without being attached to that thought process, which is a parigraha, the idea of non-attachment. Breathing in and breathing out. Now I encourage you to stay like this. So half lotus pose, if it's not available to you, is fine. You'll be seated regular cross-legged. And if it is available to you, noticing the flexibility that you're gaining in one leg as opposed to the other. So maybe you take two minutes and half lotus with one leg stacked. And then after that, you switch to leg two. You find what works for you and your body. If you're in half lotus with me, Let's real quick, just switch our pose to side two, as long as it feels right. And then again, this time you can rest the palms face up, on the knees, at the heart, however you choose. Your core is turned on, your breath, you're aware, you're calm, you're quiet. And you're collecting everything into the center of your body, your core, your pelvis is rooted, you're aware, everything is active, you're supported. You're just sitting. You're not exploring anything else except sitting. Maybe you have a meditation practice, so you've moved into it. Maybe a prayer practice, you've moved in. But if you don't, instead, you're just sitting here peacefully. You're learning this idea of being with yourself. Everyone let the hands join heart center, please, as we sit up really tall together. As we become more and more aware of the crown of our head reaching for the sky, as our tailbone roots down into the earth as if it were planted in soil. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. And now bow forward and stay there for a few breaths. So let the head come forward. Three. Two. And slowly rise. Thank you guys so much for practicing these longer holds, kind of this idea of building endurance in the lower body. You did a beautiful job and awesome work. Thanks, guys.